Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off round one for group G. We've got three matches to go through here, starting off with Dino Smash against Arctic Warriors, Nopi going up against Try, and then a Light Fury going up against the Skrill. So yeah, very another wide open group, Group G. Like kind of like Group C, very wide open. I feel like this round of fixtures, the first two round of fixtures, could defy how this group finishes. But anyway, enough yep yep. Let's get on with this match. First match, shall we? Okie dokie then. Ooh, that's brilliant news for Dino Smash, as we are in the Colosseum. And as you can see, their first Dino is Ferrazinosaurus. And and yes. Secret dinosaurs have terrain advantage here, so again, that's very good news for Dino Smash. Backing up the ferry, we have the Diceratops. The dinosaur that doesn't exist anymore, but it exists in Dinosaur King, so it's a land. So yeah, it's just going to be intriguing to see how this guy does. So it's going to be really intriguing. Ba -dum -ba -boom -boom -boom. Now apparently Technique Boost buffs the amount of attack buff you get from Attack Boost and Defense Boost. Right, as for Arctic Warriors, in the blue corner we have Alpha Kentosaurus. I think they've used this dude before. Didn't really fare too well. Maybe it'll fare better this time. All Earth moves. It will have a type advantage over the Diceratops if it matters. Backing up the uh, Kentosaurus, we got Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Tough match to call this, tough match to call. Very attack minded from Arctic Warriors here, but Dino Smash kind of has the technique and, well, the terrain advantage with the ferry as well. Could be crucial. Right, so that means the ferry will be opening with the scissors. Okay, so while that plays out, I'll just double check. Okay, so both of our guys want to swap when HP's below half. Boosh! <laughs> You're gonna see a lot of this with this guy. I I do notice that the numbers are different, so maybe you know, maybe there is like an impact. Boosh! Kentosaurus, ooh, getting off an earth barrier as well. Good, good response here from Arctic Warriors. Oh, that's a tie. Wait, is this fairy tie? There, there's no tie type fairy, is there? Ooh, but it's the Kentosaurus landing the mole attack. Gonna dig underground for a mole attack. Blah! Strong damage dealt there. Dino Smash might be thinking of a swap out here. Ooh, and he gets the swap out. How crucial could that be? Because that means this fairy will max up in attack, defense, and technique boost. They'll get the swap out and recover. And they'll come back in for that future terrain advantage. And, uh, and it means I don't have to see this all the time. <laughs> Alright, Diceratops, time to come in and show us what you got. Which is probably not a lot, because you've got the type disadvantage. Oh dear. Oh, oh, the swap. Let's get the thingies below half. <laughs> Almost balls it up. Nope. See, I saved it. And this is going to do a serious amount of damage. Because this dude is... Oh my god, I almost killed that! <laughs> wow. Wow. The Diceratops getting absolutely decimated by the Quake Saber. Um, Ferry, you might need to come back in. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a Plasma Anchor. Ooh. Oh, I forgot what Plasma Anchor does. What does it do? I forgot what it does. Does it lower the opponent's crest? I think it lowers the opponent's crest. Apparently, accor according to the peeps on Discord, I think it lowers his crest. I mean, it's not going to matter now. If it gets a crest, it's going to kill it anyway. <laughs> Okay, so how long can this Diceratops stall out? Not very long. Wait, hang on a minute. Why didn't I get a swap? Why didn't I get a swap? I bloody swapped them. 
Boosh. Okay, maybe... Okay, the swap I don't think works as a time move. But anyway, the Pharazinosaur is coming back in, so you know what that means. Time for the terrain advantage. <laughs> oh, wow. Right, so the Acro gets the swap. No, only if he gets the pet. Oh, he's not going to be able to. The Alpha Acro bites the big one. Of course, I think this Kentros has the Earth Barrier as well, so... Arctic Warrior still in a strong position to win this match. Okay, there goes the Earth Barrier. But I think given how buffed up this fairy is, I think one hit might actually win it for Dino Smash. Especially if that hit is a crap. But well, we're going to find out. Wow. Terrain Advantage has definitely helped Dino Smash here. Ooh, is a tie. Is that enough? That's enough for the win. Dino Smash getting it done. The Ferrazinosaurus proving crucial. And it is three points for Dino Smash. Good start. The Arctic Warriors put up a good fight. Put up a good fight. That Quake Saber was absolute insanity. And I, I thought they were going to turn the screw there. But Dino Smash turned it first. And I think the Terrain Advantage did make a difference there. Right. On to our next matchup. Oh, we're on the meadow field. Right. In the red corner. For Nopi. We have the Orange Triceratops. Orange Triceratops, the gold rare Triceratops, the hidden one. Okay, what's interesting is that both of our guys have lightning dinosaurs and both of them have fire dinosaurs. Very similar teams as well. Backing up the trike, we have Eocarcaria. The Stone Cold Eocarcaria, Flare Swordless, replaced with Death Fire. Which is a crime against humanity, but I'll allow it. <laughs> Just this once. Okay, so the meadow's actually pretty bad for both of our combatants because both of them, as I said, have fire dinosaurs. So that means they'll both have terrain disadvantage. Right, as for Try in the blue corner, we have Pentaceratops. This Pentaceratops primarily primarily built on attack. In fact, Team Try is pretty much an attacking team. Backing up the trike, as you can see, well, I mean Pentaceratops. We have Terry, Dino Tector. We have the Dino Tector. That could make the difference in this matchup, Dino Tector. Well, we haven't seen any armor yet. But yeah, in tag matches, it's, it's, it's kind of 50 50. Like, 3v3s is quite likely to happen if you like playing catch up. But in tag matches, the matches might be a bit too short. And well, in one, one on ones, very little chance because the matches are too quick. Okay, so both of our dudes have terrain disadvantage with the fire types. Uh, Nopi wants to swap when HP is below half. Try when HP is in the red. Ooh, that's not good for Nopi. A crit from the Penta. Ooh, a support effect as well. Added insult to injury. Okay, well, Nopi will be attempting to swap. And I think he's going to need it. Ooh, and he does get the swap. The Triceratops will come in. But that is a problem for Nopi because the Eocarcaria is going to get hit by Pentaceratops. Uh, that's not below half. That's pretty much... Well, bang on. Pretty much just over. But yeah, as I said, Terrain advantage, Disadvantage incoming. So, Tri will get the hit anyway. Ooh, could that be costly for Nopi there? Ooh, there's a tie. Oh no, Tri wants to swap when HP's in the red. <laughs> uh, okay, that's not below half. Ooh, but a Pentaceratops getting, the, getting hit there. You know, Nopi's taking a bit of a beating, but he's coming back into it. Can he get the crucial hit here with your finish Pentaceratops? Ooh, but he can't. Oh, almost killed it. 
Oh, the Tyra curve. Okay, that's below half. I'm pretty sure it's below half. Ooh, it's another tie! Which actually kind of suits... Which actually suits Try because Terry comes in, but they won't have terrain disadvantage because the Eocarcaria has terrain disadvantage. So that's actually good for Try there. Dodging that bullet. Another, another tie. <laughs> Can someone get a hit? And the tie recovery there for the Eocarcaria is kind of helping him. But I just realised that that bar is filling up. Oh, come on! Stop it! Okay, okay, we are going to see Dino Tector. Ooh, and Terry gets the hit! Well, after all that, Terry gets the hit anyway. And he's going to get Dino Tector, so I better get the codes out ready. Well, that means it's tries to lose. Well, for, for the first time in this tournament, we get the Dino Tector. Boosh! Yeah, that pretty much puts Try in the driving seat now, because one hit will finish off the Triceratops, whereas the Triceratops will need two hits. And yet, yeah, there it is, game over. The ultimate fire is going to come in to finish off Nopi and give Try the win. But it won't be a bonus point. Just a normal. Boosh. Oh, I might actually get to use the Dino Tector in the thumbnail for once. <laughs> uh. Right, let's uh, let's get on with our final match of this session, shall we? Oh, we're on the Sunset Beach Field which I believe suits water dinosaurs, which is good news for the Skrill. Right, but up first, in the red corner for the Light Fury, we have Lexovasaurus. Light Fury could be one to watch in this tournament, maybe? Probably, might be. Backing up the Lexovasaurus is bad news, because it'll have terrain disadvantage, but it is super powers. Awaken mode on two. But as I said, it'll have terrain disadvantage, so... Yeah. <laughs> Not good if you're like the Light Fury, but good news if you're the Squirrel. Okay then, in the blue corner, for the Squirrel, we have the Shunasaurus. It's Shunasaurus, as I said, will have terrain advantage, so it will get the first hit in this match. And in fact, it will be a paper hit. So it'll be a tie bomb. My very tie specialist moveset, this dude. The shockwave could activate as well. Backing up the Shunasaurus, we've got Gastonia. I like Gastonia, it's an awesome, it's a cool, di cool looking dinosaur. One of the nicer Earth dinosaurs to texturize. <laughs> well, judging just by the looks of it there. But no, all Earth dinosaurs, unless they're stegosaurids, are a pain in the ass. So terrain advantage could play a big factor in this match. Okay, so the Light Fury actually wants to swap when HP's in the yellow. Skrill, hello, half. There's the tie bomb. Ooh, and a support effect from Gastonia. A solid start from the Skrill. Ooh, hammering home the terrain advantage there. Getting off another tie bomb, another hit on the board. Not a good start for Light Fury, needs to get going. Ooh, well they do get going, with a crit. Of course, that Earth Barrier will protect Shunasaurus from major damage. But it's crucial because the Lexovasaurus gets the swallow. Actually, it's bad <laughs> because the para gets terrain disadvantage. That means the Shunosaurus will get a crit. Um, not the best swap in the world, but you know, it's kind of forced. Oh, and a shockwave as well, just in time for the awaken mode. It's been a very dominant display from the Squirrel thus far. Well, this will be interesting because the Shunosaurus will actually be going for another crit. 
this needs to be rock. Okay, well, unfortunately, it can't be paper, and it is rock, so that is crucial there. There's the, there's the tie bomb there. Oh, he doesn't get a hit! The Skrill gets the hit! Oh, no! Disaster for Light Fury! This... Wow, this has really been a train wreck for them so far. <coughs> oh, and, and the Shockwave as well. I think that's consecutive Shockwaves, though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. I mean, it was a tart. Yes, yeah, it's, it's consecutive Shockwaves, so... Shockwave rules will not apply here. But you can't go five. You can't go five. But you gotta go scissors. Ooh. A get out of jail free card there for the Light Fury. Ooh, ooh, it's a Thorn Whip as well. Okay, so the Shunasaurus will be attempting to swap. Ooh, a lucky escape there. Oh, well, Paris is dead. <laughs> and it's all on Lex over swords. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, the tappy jars are going to come in again. Oh, dear. And the Shunasaurus gets the swap out as well, so it can do shockwaves. <laughs> oh, and it gets a shockwave off anyway. And this one's not consecutive, so... Yeah, the shockwave rule will apply yet again. Oh, oh, wait, he didn't get... Oh, he's because he swapped out. <laughs> Ooh, another lucky escape for Light Fury there. But can they take advantage of it? Um, no, I don't think they will. And um, yeah, it's uh, kind of a massacre at the end. And a bonus point win for the scrap. Right, let's have a look at how our group stands. Well, that's how Group G looks so far, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Skrill at the top with a bonus point win. We have Try and Dino Smash getting off to winning starts. And then we have these three at the bottom. So, yeah, it, it, interest, interesting so far from Group G. And let's see who plays who, because I feel like round two will really shape up how this group will finish. So, we will see. Try against the Light Fury. Ooh, could be a big game for the Light Fury there to bounce back. Arctic Warriors going up against the Skrill. Be a tough test for Arctic Warriors, that. And Dino Smash going up against Nopi, so yeah. In fact, if the results go the way of these three, we could we could have an early established top three in this group. Or if these three guys win, then it's all up for grabs and it's wide open again. So yeah, this deck, round two could definitely shape up how Group G finishes. But yeah, that's going to be it. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for next time, where we conclude round one of the group stage with Group H. And until then, this is Dream Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.